In my last five box half dollar hunt, we were skunked. We got a couple of DDOs and we got some NIFCs, but we failed to find any silver. I have a box on the table in front of me and I have seven more behind me. I'm hoping though, we can do this one box at a time until we find silver or until we throw in the towel. Stay tuned for a one to who knows how many half dollar box hunt we're gonna have today in our quest to add silver to our stack at face value from circulation. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. I covered everything in the intro. You know we're looking for silver. That's why I have my stacking silver mat here because it'd be nice to find some silver this video. But in the event that we don't find it, we'll take some DDOs, NIFCs, proof coins, foreign coins, you name it, something fun, maybe even a magic coin. Now this box is already popped open. I opened it because I was gonna hunt it as another box to the last video where I was skunked for five boxes, but I decided to cut it off then. And since there's a lot of new enders on here, looks like it's gonna be a tough hunt, but I gotta get rid of this box. We gotta hunt it. So I'm gonna get right to the hunt. Hopefully I find silver in it, but if I don't, like I said, I have more boxes to add to it. Keep your fingers crossed and wish me luck. Let's get to hunting. Well, sometimes you just gotta laugh. We hunted five boxes in the last video. The very first roll I opened here had nothing. The second roll I opened, almost missed it. Right up there, we have a 40 percenter. We finally got off the schneid. I know it's a 40 percenter by the color of the edge. It'd be bright white if it was a 90 percenter. And take a look at that, 1967, 40 percent silver, found in the second roll in the open box that I was gonna include in the last hunt. Don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at it. Just why did it show up now? We'll take it though, back to the hunt. Well, it could be a good box. We're on roll number six, and we already have what I think is our second silver next to the yellow colored one with mustard on it or something. And it is 1965, 40% silver number two. Six rolls into the box. Roll number 12 will give us a NIFC 2010 Denver. I won't film them all, but it's our first. Wanted to let you know we got one. Hopefully we got more silver though. Roll number 27, third silver. Just peeled back the edge, exposed it right there. Looks like yet another 40 percenter. And uh, that's three in this box. This is so far the best box I have found this year already. It's another 1965, our second from that year, third 40 percenter of the hunt. You probably saw it in the last clip. I didn't see it till I ended the clip, but we got this little space holder for a drawer, I guess, as well. Kind of a miscellaneous find, and what would you expect of a miscellaneous? If it's going to find us some silver, it's a good luck miscellaneous. Okay, now back to the hunt. Well, we finished that first box, and there's nothing else in the box since the last clip, but man, three silvers, 40 percenters. I'll definitely take that in a hunt. Been a while since I had it. Now, that is a good solid half dollar hunt already, but one box is not enough for a video. I have seven more boxes, but I'm gonna wait until after tonight's stream to see which ones are chosen, and I'll add one of the remaining boxes, at least one more box to this hunt, maybe a couple. I'll be back in mere seconds for you guys, but it'll probably be the next day for me. All right, it's the next day. You know what? We opened a uh, Loomis box on my stream the other night, and we found two silvers. So that's back-to-back -back Loomis boxes that had silver in them. And I have two up here, but I think I'll keep those for the stream. And I know they like the W boxes, so I'm thinking I'll grab P1 from down here. It's one of my newer banks in a different town. Let's see how that does. It's NF String and Sons, and if it's a skunker, maybe we'll try one of the Loomis boxes as the last box. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab it now. All right, we've got that P1 box on the desk. Ready to crack it open. Looks like it's glued pretty heavily, so it probably won't be as easy as I'd like. But either way, we're going to get into it and see if we have any goodies staring back at us on the top. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, definitely a circulated half dollar box. I do not see any silver enders, and I do see, as usual, quite a few new ones mixed in with some old ones. All right. You know the finds already. Let's continue the hunt. Pray it's not a skunk box. See if we can get a 90. Just a quick update on the second box. So far, it's been a skunker for silver. We have found three NIFCs. That's it so far. More NIFCs than the last box. A lot less silver so far with 25 rolls to go. 
We're on roll 47, and it looks like the second box will at least not go down without a fight. Not a silver, but one we would need for fill on the board. It's a heavily circulated 1979S proof. Obviously, proof coins have a more mirrored finish, minted in San Francisco, and a lower mintage. We'll go ahead and stick it under the scope. You can see that it has the S bit mark right there. It's so damaged, it looks like a D, but it's most certainly a proof coin and uh, 1979S. We'll take it. Best find of the box so far. Only three rolls left, though. All right, box number two of the hunt is completed. We had four NIFCs and a proof, so now we have three silvers, six NIFCs, and a proof. We still technically need a miscellaneous, even though this will count as one. I'd like to get a DDO, and we just need a 90. If we get a 90, it's a fill the board. I need one more box at least to try to get the silver. So let me go ahead and pick one out, and I'll bring it over here and put it on the desk in just a second. For box three of the hunt, I had to choose another Loomis box to see if I can get lucky. The last two Loomis boxes I've hunted either live or for this video have produced some silver. So hoping to get a little bit more, we'll have to see. I still have another CB Loom box that I'm picking up from that bank today. So I might as well open this one so I don't have two of them. Let's see if we get green wrapped Loomis rolls or if we get yellow wrapped. To me, it doesn't matter as long as we get something fun. Looks like it's yellow wrapped. I can kind of see them already. And let's crack it open. See if we have any good goodies. I don't see anything fancy schmancy staring back at us, but we've got 50 rolls to hunt. All right, hopefully I get more than NIFCs. We just need a 90 for a fill the board or a DDO, which is better than that for a miscellaneous. I'll be back if and when of a find in the third box. Well, roll four of box number three will give us our first miscellaneous. We have a gold plated reverse and kind of a plated obverse so kind of a cool find it's a miscellaneous for sure it beats that one out so now we just need a 90 for a fill the board figured i'd give you a quick update through 25 rolls or the midpoint of box three all we have so far is four nifcs in this box but we have half a box to go let's see if we can find something good well unfortunately that third box only gave us four nifcs I think three in the first half, one in the back half. It got a lot more newer in the back half with some 2023 P's. Because we're only one ninety percent coin short of a fill the board, not that I find them very often, I think we'll just make it a one more box hunt, a four box hunt. I gotta go pick up another box from CB Loom. Let me see if I can pick up that box. Maybe I'll bring it back and open that one or I'll grab one of the other boxes behind me. I'll be back with my decision in just a moment. I'm back. I went ahead and made a decision to use another CB Loom box. The one I picked up today, the one I just hunted was from last week. So here we are, back-to-back -back CB Loom weeks. We've been on a skunker streak from this bank. That's why I figured I would go ahead and hunt it. Maybe it doesn't have anything, but if I'm lucky, it'll have something. All right. Uh, looks just like the last box we just hunted. All Loomis wrapped. There are some newer rolls in here. Not as many, though. We'll have to see if there's anything silvery in it. Wish me luck. We're off and running. We need a 90. Just a quick update. Half of the way through box number four, three NIFC so far, nothing else. Well, we didn't get that 90 percenter in the last box of the hunt to make the fill the board, but we'll take what we got. It actually ended up being our best number of finds as far as NIFCs are concerned. Six in the last box, a total of 16 NIFCs found over the four box hunt. A couple of miscellaneous coins, you guys saw the proof coin, 79S, and the star of the show is going to be the three silvers from the first box. And, you know, we got three silvers in the first box, not expecting any. And then I got greedy and wanted to get some silver in the last boxes. And, of course, we didn't do that. But can't get mad. I'll always take finding three 40% silver half dollars at face value. And I'm sure the silver jar will be delighted to get those. Hopefully, despite the last boxes being pretty tough, you guys still enjoyed this four box half dollar hunt. Just goes to show you when you think you're dead in the water, you never know when the next half dollar box will have some silver. If you did, I would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. A few silver half dollars from last night's hunt, three more from today's. The silver jar is getting a little spoiled.